giving offerings to the water spirit. Welcome to Eye of Ancestors Kingdom. It's me, your queen, Nanaya Sankofa, in your area. How are you doing? I hope all is well with you and the family. Welcome once again. So today, our topic that we are going to talk about, excuse me, what we're going to talk about today is offering to the water spirit, offering to your water deities, offering to the ocean, to the rivers, to the lake, to the dam, at the waterfalls. People always write me and they want to know how to do it, how to give offering, what type of offering. Offering. So today we are going to tackle this question, or we are going to tackle this uh, this topic. Offering is very important every now and then, because on our spiritual journey, it is about give and take. There are some people who always go to the ocean, who goes to the rivers, always going to ask for favor, going to ask for things but they don't give anything in return that is not good because you give something to receive something back you show appreciation sometimes you don't even have to wait till you get something before you show appreciation you can ask for something whilst you have not even received it you can still show appreciation Sometimes you can go to the ocean, you can go to the riverside to go and show appreciation just to say thank you that even you are alive, that you are protected. You don't need to wait to get something very big because maybe you are waiting to have a car, a wife, a husband or, 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 or whatever before you give offering to your deities. No. Try to be given offering to your deities every now and then even when it's just one toffee that you can afford anything that you can afford that is coming from your heart whereby it's not a situation that maybe you have been told or your, your or your spirits have requested you that you have to bring something to them that one is a different thing because sometimes when you are really in alignment with your spirits with your water spirits they can tell you that look uh, we need this. Bring us maybe chicken or bring us uh, a bottle of gin or bring us um, Fanta or bring us something sweet. That one too is there, but that's not what I'm talking about. So going to the ocean to bring offering to your deities or going to the river, river to bring offering to your deity. The most important thing is like you need to introduce yourself. It's like when you are writing an application letter to a company, how do you start it? You start by introducing yourself. My name is Nanaya Sankofa. Uh, I live at this place. This is my telephone number. I am interested in this job so and so. I'm talking about when you are writing an application. Then someone will ask that, but they are spirits. They know everything already. Yes, they know, but still you need to open your mouth. It show a sign of respect. I always say the water spirit are not spirit that you people have to joke with my family. These are ancient spirits. These are spirits that has been existing. Try to make your research and find out how long water have been existing on this earth. So you can imagine that since water have been existing, those water spirits have also been existing. So Let's get back there. So when you go to the ocean or when you go to the riverside at the lake, at the waterfall or wherever that you go and meet your, uh, um, your water spirits, your deities, when you go there, you first start by introducing yourself. You introduce yourself, then you let them know why you are there. You tell them, you know, people always have some funny imaginations. But when you are talking with your spirits, when you are talking with your deities, know that they are there it's not just something very far away or maybe um a god who is sitting somewhere in the clouds like uh, uh, in the sky and know they are with you it's the same like when you are connecting with your ancestors they are with you so feel free talk with them like maybe you are talking with me as i'm talking with you right now Talk with them like as I'm talking with you right now. Make your intentions clear. My name is 
I am here today because of this and this. I bring this offering because that is how you do it. There are some people who will just go to the ocean or who will go to the river. Sometimes when I go to the ocean, I'm sitting there, I used to look at things and I'm like, hell no, what is happening here, my people? Show some respect. Show some love. What are you doing? Or because you just saw someone doing you too, you just go there, start throwing things in the ocean as an offering, as sacrifice. Because you saw it somewhere on the TV, you saw it somewhere online or someone was saying it, you are doing the same. Did your spirit told you to do that? And when they never told you and you are just doing it to show appreciation or just be thankful, that's why you are bringing those offerings, do it from your heart. Sometimes at the ocean, when you see how or at the riverside, uh, when I'm there and I see some people, the way they, are, they will just come and they will just be throwing things in there anyhow. I said it, show some respect. It's like, as I'm here, when you ask me that, Nana, please, can I have the pen? I'll give it to you like this. But when you ask me, and I just come and I'll just throw it to you. I mean, how will you feel? That is very disrespectful. So don't just go there and start throwing things in there. We as mariners, one thing we need to do is we need to take care of nature. We need to take care of the water bodies. We need to take care of the rivers. We need to take care of the ocean. I said it the other time. Some people will come there with Fanta. They will just come and drop it in. When they finish, they will just throw the plastic in there. Why? Some people will come there with drink, with gin, with snap. They will finish doing what they are doing. They will just throw the bottle in there. Why? Imagine our ancestors were doing the same. Do you think we'll come and meet all these beautiful seas? We'll come and meet all these beautiful rivers and lakes? No, we wouldn't. Think about the fish, about the fishes. How do you want them to survive? You bring in those sweets there, you leave it everything in the plastic, you throw it in there. It's a poison for those fish when they eat it. You need to think far. I mean, when you have that gift, when you have the water spirit, then you, you have to be a wise person, I believe. Because most of the people who have the water spirits, the water children, the mariners, they are wise people. Because those spirits are ancient spirits. And they are very wise, full of wisdom. So going... To going to the ocean or to the lake to bring your offering. These are, those are things that I want you to think about it. When you get there, introduce yourself. Before even go there, going there, pray before you go there. And then my ladies, when you are on your period, don't go there to do your water work or to do anything. Don't go there. Because some of, of, of the, the water spirit, they don't like that. It's dirty. They see it as dirty, dirty thing. So don't go in there. Wait till your period is over. And then for us, both the men and for, for the woman, don't have sex right now and you finish and you are going there. No. It said don't. It said no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Take some days out. Three days, some people wait for seven days, how your spirit will tell you. Sometimes I hate giving people tips because I want people to listen to their spirits or listen, listen to their deities, what their, those water spirits are telling them to do. Because when I tell you, maybe it's what mine want me to do and it's not what yours want you to do. But one thing I know for sure is like a lady, when you are on your period, please don't go there. Wait till it's over. Cleanse yourself before you go there. Then the same thing with sex. Don't just have sex and go to the ocean or go to the riverside. I'm talking about those with a calling. I'm not talking about those just normal people here um, going to the ocean there to for swimming. No, 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 no. Here on my program, I talk about spirituality and I talk about people with a calling. The mariners. Those with ancestral calling. So I said, I'm talking about those with a calling. Not just anyone out there 
going to the beach for swimming i'm not talking about those people this my channel is a uh, 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 it's a channel where where i talk about spirituality about african spirituality whatever spirituality i talk about it here okay so let's continue then when it comes to the fruits me myself sometimes or when the spirit asks me to do so i bring like watermelon oranges banana different fruits when it's um, requested from my spirits i take it along what i do i cut it very little in little then i'll take it along I've seen people who just bring the whole thing and dump it in the ocean. No, please, please don't do that. Don't do that. If you have been doing that, it's okay. But from now, as you know, don't just carry it and just go and dump it there. Hmm? When we are talking about the our great mother Yemoja, the name Yemoja, the meaning is mother of all fishes. Yeah. And see the ocean. There are a lot of fishes there and they are always happy. When we bring all this offering there, the energy that we are bringing, the vibe that we are using to bring those offering there has been received from our deities. They have received it already and they are going to bless us. But the rest here in the physical realm is all those fishes, those sharks that are in the sea or in the river, they are going to eat it. And when it is so big like that, they cannot do anything with it. It will just be in there. Till it's spoiled, you know. So spirituality it goes with common sense, please. It goes with common sense. So sometimes when we are doing some things, we need to think about it. Cut it into pieces, the toffee, remove it from the plastic and bring it there. The Fanta, after you pour it in there, after you pour it in there, take the plastic back home or um what I, what I like doing too, I use the plastic to uh, fetch some water that I use for my spiritual work at home. So there is no need for me to bring an extra plastic there or extra bottle. I can use that bottle to fetch my water or even to put some sand in there and to bring home. That one too is okay. So that we leave every, everywhere clean. As we went there, we leave there clean. It will help us and it will help the next generation too. So that is it. Bringing offering to your deity. When you get there, you introduce yourself. You let them know why you are there or for what you are, you are there. Remove your shoes. Some people will just be wearing their shoes, be standing there like, no, show some respect. When I'm going there, most of the time, I'm in my white or I'm in my blue or I'm in my blue white. What is required from the spirits, that is what I do. There are some times you can see me in black too. <laughs> but when you see me in black, that I'm going there, that means something has happened. Something very bad has happened. So you know best, um, depending on what your deities will ask you or request from you, you just you just do that you just do that so um i will end here by saying uh much love from our side we will keep on till ending of this month we are talking we are going to talk about everything pos possible about the uh, about the water spirit about um the marinas about our life about our love life and all that you know because um some people used to tell me most of the channel they used to talk about 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 things that they don't really understand whether i can just start something right from the beginning and that is what i'm trying to do so that everybody will understand because still we have beginners and they need to learn and i have people too who used to uh, complain to me that they used to go to places and they have been scammed and um they pay a lot of money it don't have to be like that we need to help each other because we are family, we are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We need to support each other. We need to help each other because the journey alone is not easy, but we will make it. So I'll stop here. This is Eye of Ancestors Kingdom with me, Nanaya Sankofa, in your area. Bless you so much. Love.